So there's this new uh, term that's sweeping lifestyle blogs this week. It's called micro-cheating. Melanie Schilling was doing an interview with HuffPo, and uh, she coined this term. It's a way of cheating on your partner without really cheating. It means you dress a certain way for someone at work. It means you dress a certain way for maybe a friend. You got a nickname for somebody, but you're not really cheating. Micro-cheating? Is Not, this a millennial thing? Did you, is this how you lost your cottage? <laughs> no, no, no. It's, uh, it's just plain, uh, it's plain nonsense, Mark. And the, well, that's all pretty rich coming from you under the uh, rule of Queen Elizabeth. And <laughs> she wears the pants, the shoes, <laughs> the shirt, and the coat. <laughs> Everything in the family. So listen, like, I mean, it, could it be a thing? Or is this just the latest in the... M latest dopey millennial thing from a pop psychologist in Australia that needs to boost her profile. That, 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 that's it. I mean, since time immemorial, people have flirted with each other. They flirted with their cats, their dogs, the, the taxi driver, the, every, everything you could possibly think of, they've flirted with. This is part of the human condition. Okay, so flirting's okay. I mean, you know, if I want to wear a nice shirt one day, it doesn't have to mean that I'm like trying to flirt with one of my coworkers. Right, but it's a minefield right now because of uh, because of uh, what's going on in the world. So you know you have to step carefully. But uh, you know I don't expect uh, this is ever going to end anytime soon, despite what some quack in Australia says. So Brad, do you have any suggestions for people who get caught out in micro cheating? What can they do to avoid being caught? Get a Yahoo account. Nobody goes there anymore. <laughs> Okay, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about micro cheating on Facebook or tweet us at the Toronto Sun.